Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 From the Holy Gospel. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. 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 The Holy Spirit. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me through it, and I will raise him to the last day. It is written in the prophet, They shall all be told by God. Heaven who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. <laughs> in the prophet. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 <laughs> Please go ahead, Italian. Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening. The Gospel uh, today mentions manna and the bread that is offered by Jesus. The difference between the manna given to the Israelites in the desert and the bread of life that Jesus is uh, offering is that the manna was merely for physical nourishment. It, the manna did not have a spiritual nourishment. That's why the gospel says those who received the manna died because it did not have a spiritual uh, nourishment. But the uh, <clears throat> bread offered by Jesus uh, promised or that who I, Jesus promised that whoever receives the bread he offers will uh, receive, will have eternal life and Jesus will raise him up uh, on the last day. <clears throat> now, uh, let us uh, try to reflect, review the Gospels. In John 3.16, what was uh, said is that, or what is said is that <clears throat> we, if we believe in Jesus Christ, we will have eternal life. But in, in, in John 6.40, the gospel says, if we see Jesus and believe in him, we will have eternal life. And then the gospel today, John 6, 51, uh, Jesus said that those who believe and eat the bread of life, which is his flesh, will have eternal life. <clears throat> uh, if you take a close look at the gospel today, the reason why Jesus said that the bread he is giving is his flesh because the people or his audience who were listening to him were murmuring. They were having doubts. They were arguing among themselves that what is this that he is saying? What is this that saying that the, he is the living bread that came down from heaven. And so Jesus gave a shocking statement. And he said, this bread that I give you is my flesh. 
if you look at the gospel, flesh is even in uh, capital letter. He was trying to wake up their faith. Jesus was trying to uh, wake up their faith. And uh, <clears throat> Jesus said, well, we must focus on his promise that those who receive him will have will be raised up on the last day. And uh, <clears throat> to, be, to be able to understand this message of uh, Jesus, that he is the living bread, and that the bread is offering is his flesh, we must have a deeper faith, we try to deepen our faith. In previous Gospels, we mentioned that faith is a gift from God. It's a gift from God. Imagine Nicodemus and the Roman soldier. They were not actually believers uh, or followers of Christ, Jesus Christ, but they have the faith, especially the Roman soldier. Where did they get that faith? It must have been given to them by God. It must have been gifted to them by God. Now, on our part, do we believe that the, the one we receive during a Holy Communion is the body of Christ, is the flesh of Christ? Do we believe that? We do because when the priest or the, lame, the Eucharistic minister uh, <clears throat> says, <clears throat> says that this is the body of Christ, the body of Christ. He does not say this is the bread of life. Yes. He says this is the body of Christ. And we believe because we say what? What do we say? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we believe. And uh, so on our part, uh, we are learning this. And I think there's no much uh, problem with us because we are enlightened. God has given us the gift. That's why we are a gift of faith. That's why we are here. And we are learning, we are studying the, his words, his gospel. And uh, what do we do? What do we do? Then our duty I believe, is that we spread the faith. We spread the word of God. But through what? It is not uh, it is not really required that we go around and spread the gospel teaching like the what the apostles did. In yesterday's gospel, uh, we can spread the faith, we can spread the word of God by the way we treat other people, right? So- Our actions, indeed. Our actions, yeah. our smiles, our words. So today we focus on the promise of God that whoever receives him will have eternal life. And that if, for example, there are people who are not yet with the faith, God is just waiting for them to come to him. And when they come to him, God is ready to accept them. And uh, that's it. We deepen our faith and we spread the faith through our words, actions, and the way we treat other people. Amen. 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 Thank you very Amen. much, Tituri. Uh, may we hear Tita Linda's three pointers? The three pointers for today's gospel, number one. In today's gospel, Jesus assures us unreservedly that he is the divine bread of life that offers eternal life with God to all who believe in him. <laughs> Number two, the real life that Jesus is offering us is a new relationship of trust, love, obedience, and union with God who created us to love him forever. Number three, 
number three, when we accept Jesus as the bread of heaven, he will give us the nourishment and strength we need to love and serve him more. Do you yearn for this bread to sustain you in this life and for all eternity? Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. So it's about, yeah, it's about faith. It's about uh, whether we believe or when Jesus said that he um th that he is the bread of life it's true no um um when we receive holy communion the priest say, will say um the body of christ not not this is the bread of life we this ang ang talagang ang gina mention ng priest is the body of christ and we say amen because we believe and also it's a true tito tito reino na faith is a grace is a is a grace from from god is a grace of the holy spirit that we have faith and it's only faith that we that we believe because of our faith we believe that what we receive is really the true body of christ amen. so so yun nga ang kwan yun nga ang uh, that, that's why you have these miracles, no? Of uh, um, miracle of uh, of the holy of the host. San ba yun? Lanciano, Italy. Na na the doubting priest during during the raising, no? The raising of the of the bread, no? Of the host during his um, mass. Uh, there was a little doubt in uh, on him, no? Na na is this really the body of Christ I'm holding? And then, and then, um, here comes the miracle. No, na, the the host, no, uh, the host, uh, had um, had produced blood on it. Na hanggang ngayon is nandyan pa. And then they tried to examine that that host, no, with the soak in blood. They they examined before, of course, before uh, it will be declared a miracle. Dapat may mga scientific, uh, ano, mga scientific explanations, no, and everything. And then when they examined the blood and that piece of of host, no, um, it was the cardiac muscle of a human being with with blood type AB. Mm. So it coincides. It coincides with the real blood type of Jesus Christ and cardiac muscle, muscle of the heart. Ang nakita when they examine that holy host na nag <clears throat> nag produce ng blood. So, thank you for uh -oh. sharing that miracle. Uh oh, that's a miracle. So, um, every now and then, makita natin, no? That 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 is the most, ano, the most popular miracle. May mga may mga iba pa na mga stories na about about blood, about about blood tinge. May 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 kulay na dugo or may may mga tinge of of blood ang host na yan na nagpakita na that is. That is really a living, living, living Jesus Christ in that piece of bread. So, so nandiyan ay physical presence. That is really physical presence of Jesus. No, kasi, kasi and and plus our faith. No, so the bottom line here is why can't we visit or why can't we receive that holy flesh of Jesus? If not every day, at least as often as we can. Why can't we? Body na yan, eh, Jesus Christ himself na yan, eh. That's really, really the body and blood of Jesus. But hindi kaya natin ma-receive. What, what made us hesitant or lazy to receive that, that piece of bread? Now, Tested and proven na and and plus our faith na talagang body physical body yani Jesus why and and then why can't we visit why can't we visit um the the adoration no the chapel the adoration chapel or kahit na magsimba man lamang no na na during the mass during during the mass kung magattend tayo ng mass and 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 during the holy communion it's the communion Number one, it's the union of the Father and the Son. Why can't we participate in that uh, union, deep union of the Father and the Son with all the love? Why can't we participate? 
yun ang yun ang sabi ni Father Tito kanina sa ano niya sa homily niya na na ba, bakit tayo hesitant mag-participate kasi ang ano is uh, through him ano nga sabi ng pare through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and yours all glory and honor are yours now and forever yun ang very very powerful proclamation of our faith that Jesus is in union or in deep deep relation with with love no with love his union with with the father Jesus and the Father. Tapos mag kung 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 magano tayo ng mas magattend tayo ng mas and receive the Holy Communion. We are participating in this union. Yun ang explanation. So so the choice is ours. Nandyan na nga eh. Nandyan na physically present anywhere. Basta nandyan ang holy ang holy host. He is physically present. Why can't we visit? Why can't we say, Hi, Jesus, I'm here. <laughs> like a friend. Ba? Hello, Jesus, I'm here. <laughs> I offer to you all, all of myself and all that I have, all, all that I am. So, it's a beautiful feeling. Kasi ko, devotion, yan e devotion. When I was in Iloilo, no, um, I tried my best no to visit the whole the adoration sa uh, Tita Grace sa, uh, sa adoration chapel sa Haro Cathedral beside ah, the Haro okay. Cathedral 24 hours yan eh, 24/7 and you have to take off your shoes before entering the the ano the adoration tapos uh, it so happened naman na dito sa ano did uh, I found out one church dito na medyo hindi naman mga 13 mga 13 miles away from from my house no na I I found out no before the pandemic siguro mga 5 years ago before the pandemic na no mga 10 years ago na siguro um na I found out that this adoration chapel of a certain uh, Catholic church may ano din may adoration sila every ano every every um 24 7 24 7 open ang adoration nila and what a good feeling no kasi kung minsan kung kung pupunta ka dyan, no, especially mga mga hours like midnight almost midnight uh, um early morning Jan ako na amaze na ang daming tao kung midnight and past midnight you will experience the like the heavenly peace kung nandiyan ka and all together no mga tao diyan nagavisit no they 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 pray they give praises they offer themselves they offer, they offer prayers no whatever whatever their reasons why nandiyan sila marinig mo talaga na yung iba is naga naga sub naga cry ang iba is talagang ang faith is so ano is so ang faith ng mga tao diyan is so ano ba so strong na very contagious very contagious kung medyo medyo mahina-hina ang faith mo kung nandiyan ka sa kanila sa, sa mga tao na almost 99% is my faith kasi nga they go there to pray because they believe that Jesus himself is there maano ka ma ma mag-go with with their feeling ka so i really strongly advise no na as often as we can no, to visit the blessed sacrament jesus is physically present there and he is there waiting for us waiting for us for a visit just a brief visit yun na kasi that is the bread of life good for our soul amen amen Amen. Tito Mani, you have something. Belinda. Ha? Putol-putol si Tito Mani. Putol-putol pa? Yan, hindi na, hindi na masyado. Oh. Please go ahead. Ah, wala si Tita Belinda. Wala siya, hindi siya online. I don't know. 
Hindi siya online. Tita Grace, wala si Tita Belinda pa pa. O, naka Tito Manny. Your turn, Tito Manny. Okay. Eh, yun lang na naman yung sa gospel. It's all about faith nga. All about faith. Faith sabi nga, it is a gift. When we were baptized, we were given that faith. Gift of faith. Everyone. That's one of the purposes ng faith na yan. To be able to receive that body and blood of Without that faith, wala kang panahal pala tayo ba? Ano yan? Hindi mo ba? Hindi mo tatanggap. So you need faith. Ngayon, you talk about the miracles about the host becoming flesh and blood. Real. Because there's that real presence, yun ang pinapakita ko ng real presence. But very few understand or know what real presence means. Pero, in spite of that, they receive because they have that faith. What if you are given that real flesh and blood? Meron pang dugu-dugu. ibibigay sa iyo, you think you can receive. Baka hindi mo matanggap. You will need a very bigger, stronger way to be able to receive. The horse is, but once the horse becomes the real flesh, with blood in it, Really, it gives life. In a sabi dito, eternal life, not just an ordinary life here or there, but eternal life in life. And it also acts as the parang dinanati remedy or parang medicine for the body and soul. For the soul, because of our sins, it cleanses our sins, removes venial sins once you re re receive communion, and uh, also it says that our life here on earth is a journey. We're just pilgrims here. On earth. Ultimately, our home is heaven. And it also adds in our ministry, Eucharistic ministry, it acts as the uh, food for that to to those who are about to go. That is given to somebody who is about to go. And I have experienced one time, man, who barely is breathing. But he was miraculously, he was able to receive. And then a few minutes, he died. And that was uh, what we call the article. This is. Uh, parang baon niya on his journey to the next. Kaya yun ang mga why the body and blood of Christ is so important but very few because of lack of faith we are supposed to receive in everything but very few because really faith plays an important factor. Yeah. 
Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mali. Um, anything else? Tita Grace, you want to read uh, the thought of the day? Ah, sige. Okay. Uh, please go ahead. Okay. Thought of the day, April 27, 20. Jesus said to the crowds, No one come to me unless the Father who sent me drew him, and I will raise him on the last day. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread will, I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. God draws each one of us to a divine relationship wherein we can know him, love him, serve him, and be eternally happy with him. He sent Jesus to our world to redeem us and lead us on the pathway of the earthly to the eternal. God speak to us through the gospels, the traditions, and the teaching of his truth through church, whose prayers, liturgies, rites, writings, and discipline should nourish and strengthen our faith. God also speak to us indirectly in mystifying ways. Our inner sense of morality, the order and complexity of the universe, the beauty of nature, our successes and failures, our joys, our sorrows, and the people who touch our lives, who sleeps with thoughts and other signs wherein we sense his power and love. Jesus proclaims that unlike the manna eaten by their ancestors in the desert, which temporarily satisfied their hunger, he is the living bread from heaven that whoever eats will have eternal life. He speaks of the mystery of the Eucharist wherein he gives himself the body and blood to us, consumed with full and abiding faith. Let us regularly repent and confess our sins and worthily receive him in the Holy Communion. As we transform our lives, pray that we may be granted the grace of the fullness of eternal life on our last day. Amen. 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 Thank you it's very much. It's just like being a you know, huh. example, we, uh, we hear mass, it's like going to a banquet without, without uh, eating, without eating. So we need to, in order to have this everlasting, we have to have our communion. It's like eating the bread, the huh. bread of life. We need to have to receive communion. It's like oh. eating in the banquet. You, uh, if you're on the banquet, hindi ka nagkakain, wala ka nagkain, so wala. It's, it's not ano like attending, yan? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Oh, yeah, very right. good comparison, Tito Grace. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, um, ang tawag pala, uh, I, I forgot to say, no, I forgot to, to mention this, na during the, the consecration, no, uh, ang, ang part ng Mass ba, ng Holy Mass, na na ang ang belief no it's not only a belief but uh, by, by faith no we believe in the trans uh, ano uh, tra transubstantiation yung physical ang ang bread na yan is ma, ma, ma transformed into the the real body and blood of Jesus Christ transubstantiation no no tito rey no um uh, that part of the mass no na pag 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 hold no ng pag ano ng ng pare no ng ng host na yan yun na ang flesh and blood na ano na yan na turned ang ang regular bread and wine it was turned during that time it will be turned into a real flesh and blood of Jesus may mga four occasions pala there, there were four uh, instances na ang miracle of itong na binabasa ko ngayon no? miracle of uh, the eucharist eucharistic miracle no? which is the most popular is yung sa yung sa Lanciano, Italy na na um they examined they examined it was the examined it was um um part of uh, part of a uh, blood uh, no, part of the heart cardiac Hume. muscles and nakita Hume. nila and then ang, ang, ang yeah oo, and then ang ang blood type is ab ang blood type na lahat na na eucharistic miracle um happen to be type ab so the same so th there are four no ang isa isa poland sa, sa poland ang isa 
um, ay isa-isa Argentina tapos yung isa-isa ano sa sa Mexico na proven proven na miracle na yung holy host is talagang body of Christ kasi yeah. gin-examine nila gin-examine talaga nila so yun aside from uh, aside from faith natin no talagang totoo talagang totoo na that that piece of holy host no um uh yun ang body and blood of Jesus Christ Tita MJ Tita MJ can you hear ha. me Yeah, yeah. Tita MJ I was attracted with this I'm the living bread that comes down from heaven whoever eat this bread will live forever we encounter him at the eucharist and i huh. believe that when we yes. take him on the on the eucharist uh, moment me i myself before when i take him i don't right away put him in my mouth i hold the host and pray to him that i believe you jesus that you are here And I know whatever I feel bad within my body, within my soul, please heal me. That's my prayer. And oh. I believe ever since that he protects me in whatever encounter, uh, whatever hardship I've encountered and temptations that surrounds us, he is there, I know. And Jesus, I believe, is alive. right there at the eucharist so up to this moment miracle of uh, having jesus christ living in the holy sacrament in the holy eucharist it exists and uh, with that i i am i would say i am strong enough to feel it and uh, Uh, pray for him that he may stay with us forever that's it Thank amen you. that that's that's your faith and uh, uh, tita remy huh? thank you very much for sharing anybody else what is your feeling when you receive the holy communion in the ba when the consecration He is really the true God that raises the host and he mm. is the one and with the angel around him. Jesus is the Lord and he is the one who raises the host and that is my faith and that is why this is my body that will be given to you. Diba? Parang ganyan. Uh, uh, very strong, no? Very strong talaga. Very, very strong during the, uh, ano, uh, the Holy Mass. very strong ang ang faith natin dapat very strong ang faith natin to, and and then um uh, as you said that Tita Grace no uh, going to go, going to to church to party, going to, to mass back, and and anything. hindi ka maka receive ng holy communion is like a uh, invite just like going to a party the banquet without, without eating. eating so useless <laughs> yeah so anyway thank you very much um any other Thought? Si MJ, yung uh, mm -hmm. miracles na sinabi ninyo, mm -hmm. examined uh, and they found out that the host is really uh, the body and blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So those miracles prove the word of Jesus that what I give is my flesh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Imagine, yes. no? very yes. strong. Very, oh. very empathic yung flesh. Mm -hmm. Yung gospel, capital oh. F. Capital oh, F. Capital F. <laughs> oh, that means uh, a flesh of Jesus, flesh of God, of, of, of the living God. Yes, amen. Oh. Oh. Kaya, kaya ang, ang words niya, no? as he promised, no? I will never leave you. No, di ba? I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. Kasi hanggang ngayon, nandiyan siya eh. His yes. physical presence is in every altar. Amen. Amen. Oh, in every altar talaga. Amen. Amen. So, for the closing prayer, um, 
Miga Belen, and then after that, uh, your own closing prayer today. Please go ahead, Dita Bell. Okay. Lord, your word here, your word has been a comfort and peace for us today. We pray for you to surround us with your strength and guide us into a new way of living because of what we have learned here. May we shine with your faith, grace and mercy and be a light in the darkness wherever we are today. We ask for all of these things in the loving name and presence of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily bread, 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 and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not us us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. El Mary, full of grace. El Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the end of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the, to the, Father, to the Son, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever, shall be born without, without end. end. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Oh, I forgot. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Good Thank night. You. I, I forgot to say, I, I forgot See to mention the about the spiritual hour. communion. Pala. Please pray as, as often as you can. Ang spiritual communion. Uh, Ang spiritual okay. communion natin. Oh. Very, very nice ano, uh, prayer. Huh? Uh, okay. Uh, thank okay. you. Good thank night. you all. Thank you. Oh, good night. Thank you.